Hey everyone, Cyrus Burr here from also known as Cat and Lulz from Clan Butter Sauce. I'm using my personal channel to post some fun videos about technology in general or specific software. Today I'm talking about Boxy. It is a Windows Media Center alternative. Uh, I like it a lot more than Windows Media Center. Nothing about nothing against Microsoft. Uh, it's nothing personal, but Boxy has outdone you. Uh, so to get Boxy right away, you go to www.boxy.tv, and right away it's pretty easy to navigate. Uh, you have your register right here, download, you connect it to your TV. There's a couple ways to do that. There's a Boxy box that you can buy soon. It's not out yet, and you can just log in. Uh, so download. I recommend download if it's your first time, if you haven't gotten it yet. Uh, and there's it's for almost everything now. You got Windows, Mac OS. Apple TV even and uh, uh, Ubuntu Linux both 32-bit and 64-bit so I'm using Windows so we'll click on that and since I am already a user it's um, I'm not gonna go through this it's pretty standard registration username first name last name password email address and then it'll do a human check to make sure you are human um, now it's not loading all the way right now but you can see uh, you can actually download it as you're registering that's why I recommend downloading using the download tab and then the sign up button should be down here somewhere but like I said my internet's being weird right now um, so once you sign up it'll send you a verification email you just verify and that would be that uh, now I already have it download it and install it. So I'm going to hit discard. You want to save it and install it, of course. Um, so once you're registered and verified and all that, uh, there's a few things you can do. You can um, connect it to Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Uh, but if you want to get into Boxy right away, you can do that too. Now, I'm going to start up Boxy now. You get a nice tone right there. Let you know I'm working. Now, you can see it's powered by a few different things and here we are now it said connecting right away because it actually does connect through your username and password that you just created and right away we have a whole menu it's pretty easy to navigate right off the bat I'm gonna start with this feed featured and queue right right off the bat so you have a feed this is for friends that you have added through boxy or that you've told about Boxy and they decided hey I like it so you become friends on Boxy and that's that and now you have a feed uh, right away you just mainly have Boxy staff they favorited some things they commented on some things um, and this is just where everything goes that people want to share comment what have you uh, you have featured this is just big videos that are going around um, probably recognize a lot of them and if you don't, you probably want to watch them. And you have your queue. You can add things to your queue. I'm not sure how to remove them from your queue, to be honest. Um, but this getting started, it's a very nice video. Uh, if you don't like mine, you can use that one. I don't care. Um, now, one thing, uh, it took me a little bit to figure out how to close boxes. So I'm going to just go through right now so I don't forget. Right here, you can change users to spend a machine. Or exit boxy now suspend machine I'm guessing that's more for media PCs um, but that's that uh, so now let's get started on everything else see photos like I said it's a media center replacement so it's not just movies and videos it's everything else in between um, so you have pictures you got local pictures and it's pretty nice and like I said I'm from butter sauce so that's our logo um, we use that uh, and also the side menu is in everything and it's very nice all you have to do is move your mouse over and it pops up move your mouse away and it goes back uh, you have all sorts of different things you have this you can list them out thumbs add shortcuts sort them different ways it's very nice there's whole there's different options for whatever you're doing um, to go back to the home screen you right click you just keep right clicking until you get this now this is the pop-up menu and it is very very nice uh, you don't actually need to go back to the home screen you have everything right here you have um, 
shortcuts, uh, all your different menus and settings and other things. Yeah, so you you don't really need to go back to home screen, but I like going there just because it looks pretty. Uh, moving right along, we'll go to music, and like I said, the side menu is different. You can filter th it through different ways. Um, go by album, and you'll notice that there's just pictures of your artist here. It's not necessarily an album cover, and it will be if you switch to album. You can search your music, and like I said, this this is kind of meant for media PCs, so you will see a keyboard pop up all over the place. That's fine. Um, that's fine. Uh, uh, it is meant for remote. Well, not meant, but it is very remote friendly, I should say. Uh, so that's music. Go back home. You got movies. I only have a couple movies still identifying a bunch. Uh, we'll list them out and it'll actually show a big picture here and you can search them again, you can sort them in different ways, sort them by genre and it's got a whole bunch of different genres. We'll go back to thumbs and that's movies. Now TV shows. This one's very 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 cool because not only does it find movies and what have you on your machine or network devices uh, yes I did just say network devices it'll search your whole network um, but it'll also search for them online so the office for example I don't have this on my machine but it'll show me the latest five episodes now it only does the latest five because that's all NBC posts it's the last five so now I actually added this to my queue. I can remove this quick. And it'll say add to my shows and it says queue new episodes. Now what that means is when a new episode comes out, I'm going to re-add it real quick. When a new episode comes out, um, it'll show up in the queue over on the home screen here, which is very nice. It's very handy makes it a lot easier to keep up with your shows. Um, next we have our apps. YouTube is probably going to be the most popular. There is a browser and again you have the pop-up menu. You can search for more apps. Uh, the YouTube's pretty simple. It works just like regular YouTube. You start it up, you search, and you watch a video. You can share it, do all this fun stuff with Boxy, and you know it's fun. Uh, also, with Boxy, you can browse your computer. Now, I'm not going to do too much because there's almost no reason to browse your computer because Boxy does do a good job of finding everything. And then, of course, you can play DVDs and CDs. Um, I'm not sure I have one in right now, but it's really easy. You can count your time. Yes, 1.40 a.m. I am a, I am a night person. And it'll even, find, it'll even find where you are and show you the current temperature. So that's Boxy. Um, I hope you enjoyed as much as I do, and I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough. Thanks. See you next time.